All right. Since I have a few videos up of basically slideshow videos of shoes I've done, I figured I'd make a video to show you exactly what I use to do everything and give you a roundabout cost for the supplies of it. All right, first, obviously, I start with the pencil to sketch out your ideas on the shoes of what you're going to be doing. I use this mechanical pencil. A tip is, if you're gonna use a pencil, you need to find one that has at least a 2H or 4H lead, a hard lead to give you a very light drawing to ink over. If you use something softer, a lot of times they'll smear all over the shoe and you'll be trying to clean lead up off the shoe so it doesn't mess up your markers when you go to lay them down. For inking, you're gonna have to use Copic Proof which that's a Copic liner right there and as you can see on the bottom it says water and Copic proof because what will happen if you don't use good ink that's Copic proof and waterproof it's gonna bleed the ink all over the place now I found that these Tombow inking pens they have I don't know if you can see that somewhat of a like Sakura tip of the brush they come in two different hardnesses this is the soft which lays down thicker inking lines and this is the hard tip which you can get a little bit better detail but even with both of them I end up most of the time deep fine fine detail I go back to the Copic inking pens but the reason I find try to find something else to use that's softer is these have felt tips and they have a tendency to split them because it's a rough surface that you're using them on and after the penciling and inkling is done then you can go to the markers to start coloring in what you've got drawn on the shoe um a tip for markers and bleeding and bleed control is the lighter the color and the lower saturation of the color the more alcohol and water base is going to be in it which means it's going to bleed more. So you gotta be careful with that. The, um, after you get all that done, after I've done, done all the marker, all the highlights, all the shading, a gel pen from Blick. Nothing fancy, it's a white gel pen, that's it. And what I do with this is I go in and do all the highlights, like these light colors you see on the edges. Even in the leaf itself, I put highlights in the lines. And a lot of times it's not going to come down straight white. It'll be like a lighter color of what you're laying it over because it's normally water-based. So it soaks into the color. So when you need a hard white, you just keep going over it until you get to that point of hard white then comes the coating this is beeswax basically the process is what people do is you use this like a bar of soap go over the whole shoe then let it sit in the sun for like four to six hours until it's melted down to make a smooth coating over the shoe to keep from water destroying your artwork now i have not used this method yet i have used what is they call it save a tea it's from, I think, Coast Airbrush. I've used that on probably all the shoes that I've done for my son and my stepsons and my girlfriend. And so far, I have not had a problem with water destroying the shoe. And all it is is a polymer spray that they use for really airbrushing shirts because then you don't have to heat cure the airbrushed shirt. You can just spray this stuff on it. It cures it and protects the artwork all in one. So it's up to you. I would say try different methods. I would probably go buy cheap shoes for test shoes and then see which way you trust the best. Um, beyond that, the way around all of this that you see right here is you could paint your shoes. Angelus Direct sells paint that can be done to customize vans. And then you don't have to worry about having to coat them. You don't have to worry about $8 a piece markers. And then 
if you're doing them for customers and you're trying to sell them, then you don't have to worry about if you're going to have customer dissatisfaction because something happens and the ink gets all screwed up and you got to redo the shoes all over again to make them happy. I just use the copic method because I've never been much of a painter. I've maybe painted three or four times in my life. I'm used to markers, colored pencils, pens, things in my hand, hard surfaces. I just... I've airbrushed, but I've never really like hand painted anything. So this is why I use this method. It's up to you what kind of money you want to spend and how much involved you want to get into it. And the reason I'm making this video is for like people who have kids, nieces, nephews that want to make them shoes for say a birthday present because it's what they're crafty and they would rather make something cool for them than just buying them another toy out of the store or from wherever online or whatever. Um, you can find the markers. I mean, they're basically six to eight bucks a piece. You can go through the whole getting, holding on to coupons for Michaels and stuff and trying to get them at a discount and then search online. That's the best advice I have for you. All right, thanks for watching the video. If you found it informative and you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.